sometimes we forget about those that uh, uh, came for the first time and paid a high price to bring in the gospel to a nation. You're trying to get your feet wet in this new culture and at the same time you're sitting there going, I don't have a return ticket. You may have worked on an exit strategy, but you don't expect that to take place within the first couple of weeks. <laughs> so you're, you're like, I'm actually here. You may be rejected by the local people or the people who are, who are ministering. Uh, that is the main thing and then you will be saying, why am I here? What you're going to face is a very slow process. What you're going to face is having to uh, spend time getting to know people first without ever letting them know who, what, what you do. You're going you're gonna to feel alone. Um, regardless of the networks that you establish where you're going, um, you're on the front lines. Uh, you're in the foxhole. Uh, you're really facing some serious opposition. Be ready for um, the enemy to do everything he can to get you out because you are a threat. You will face the challenges that is coming and allowed by God for you to be strengthened in Him. Think about all the things that you were going to confront, but at the same time you knew God wanted you there. And so if, if we, we had that peace about that, we knew that He was going to be with us and help us with whatever we confronted. The world has been created by God and each part of the land, He knows it. So if the Holy Spirit is leading you towards a point or towards a place, don't fear in your heart. Take that bold step. When you take the bold step, He is there to take care of you. I guess you get to the point where you learn to really trust the Lord and know that He's going to take care of you, you know, whatever you are. Everybody needs to hear the gospel. There is no uh, reason why we should not go in a country, no matter what, uh, to take the gospel and see people from all nations being saved and uh, le led to Jesus. There's something so powerful about walking with people and building trust and falling in love with the people you're serving. And when hearts are open, it's amazing how open they are also to the gospel. We face challenge. We face challenges one after the other. But all what we could do is in faith, we take that first step. And God is always there, faithful to lead us through. Many times we think about our, our own self, how we are being looked at in others' eyes. But I'm telling you, God is looking at us in a different way. And all what He needs is our heart and our commitment towards Him. And He will be able to lead us through.